guys welcome back so i'm gonna do a quick little video because my nails came off on this side um <laughs> i don't know if it was a prep issue or what but they came off so i need something quick to put on so i can just look a little half decent um i am going to use the opre base color tips i'm using this more nudish color and so yeah i'm gonna prep my nails real quick and i'll come right back all right, so I've gone ahead and prepped those or removed the shine from that. I'm going in with my Opre dehydrator. Going in with the primer next. I'm trying to make this super quick before it gets dark um, here. I don't like driving in the dark. I'm just going to the grocery store to see if I can find some last minute things. Everyone's out of toilet paper here in Washington state just because of the coronavirus going on. I have some here, like I, you know, usually always keep toilet paper here, but I just wanted some more just in case they um, make us stay home a little bit longer. Because right now at my, my normal job, we're told to stay home and work from home, so. We've been working from home since like the first week of March and then they just extended it for us to April. So just in case we're stuck in the house too, um, I just wanted to grab a few more things or whatever. But yeah, hopefully it's not too crazy wherever you guys are at right now. But over here, everyone's kind of freaking out in Washington because it's kind of spreading quick, the virus. So, yeah, I'm just glad I'm able to be home because I know some people can't be home. Um, so I'm kind of glad I get to be home right now. I'm kind of going through this fast. As you can see, I'm in a rush. I think it's like five o'clock here. It's still light outside, but, and I'm not going far. I'm going like one and a half miles down the street. <laughs> but I've been challenging myself to look a little bit more presentable when I step out. Cause sometimes it's like, if I'm running an errand, I'm like, oh, let me just throw this on and go. Or if my nail is only, only one nail is done, not nail, one hand is done. I'm like, ah, oh, whatever. I do nails, does it matter? Which I still have that attitude, don't get me wrong, but I'm working on it. I would like to go out and be a little bit more presentable sometimes for my own self. So that's why I'm going to do my nail. Plus it gives you a chance to talk to others about your business because if you go out and uh, your nails look good, usually people are going to be like, hey, where did you get your nails done? And that's a perfect time to be like, oh, I do nails. Oh, this light is so annoying. Um, one second. Let me cure this. I'll be right back. All right. So that's cured. Um, you know what's interesting? While I've been in the house working from home due to the virus, I um, I feel like instead of comfort food, I've been wanting like comfort nail stuff, like nail supplies. So. I've been excited getting little deliveries in. I just got another huge surprise package from a company that um, I'm gonna do a video on soon. I would do it today, but I don't, I know you'd probably wanna see some swatches of this stuff and I really don't feel like doing swatches today. So yeah. But it's coming. I'll try to get it out this week and tell you guys which company reached out to me, which I thought was kind of cool. But yeah, I feel like I'm buying um, comfort nail stuff. I got some glitter in today, which was kind of nice. And then I started freaking out because they were saying how Amazon is not going to um, let like third-party suppliers uh, ship to their warehouse anymore. I mean, some people panicked and thought it was Amazon not doing deliveries anymore. Um, and someone tried to scare me into that, but I was like, no, it just means that they're not accepting that unless it's like essential items, which is understandable. So 
Yeah. All right. I hate doing my right hand. I think this is straight. If not, oh well. At least it's on. It's better than <laughs> me walking out with my little nubs. So, but yeah. But yeah, I got some glitter today. It's like this iridescent glitter. I ordered it off Amazon. It's super cute. So, I might find a way to encapsulate it with the Opre Vivid Color Tips. I saw someone comment and ask me to do um, another video with more ideas. I actually recorded a video yesterday, but I'm debating if I'm going to post it or not. Because it was kind of like, I don't know. It was kind of rushed. Oh, that feels like that's on there. Oh, that's a little cricket. Oh well. I'm gonna get it right one day. <laughs> I usually can do it right. I don't know if I get nervous recording on camera, even though I'm just here by myself, but um, yeah, maybe I get nervous. I do like this, how you can like use the acetone now instead of roughening the inside. That's like the best thing ever. Like seriously, I'm probably putting too much in, but I'm trying to hurry up. It's interesting here too because um, they just ordered the nail salons and barber shops and things to close down. So, um, at least till like April 5th or April 7th here in Washington, just to control the spread of the virus. So, a lot of people were complaining about that or trying to rush to the nail shop yesterday <laughs> before it closed. Or some people were pinging me because uh, since I'm at home, I have, you know, I work from home. With nails, I don't like working in a shop or anything. So people were pinging me <laughs> and asking about it. All right. If you notice, I don't know if you guys, for those of you who did order your lamp, I don't know if you noticed how quickly it cures. Like, it's a strong light. I would be curious to know the wattage of it because I don't think it said it. And the kit, I may have to reach out to the company and see because it's like strong. That was actually part of the reason why when um, I like the McCart lamp, that like little lamp that you press down on, I had liked that a little better than this other light because uh, the McCart was like six watts and I think the Opry light is like five and I just, it could be all in my head but I just felt like it was more powerful, the McCart one. It just looked more brighter than the other. I'll have to test it though, because you know, Opry sent me that nice new package. So, you know, maybe I'll plug it up, the X-Lite, and see. Cause I purchased the X-Lite back in like November, I think, November, December, I purchased the X-Lite. Oh, and I did see someone made a comment about, um, they wanted me to do a comparison of all of the lights that have come out with the systems. So I might do something quick like that this week or weekend. Don't hold me to it, but I will try to get all the lights. I have like those flashlight cure lights from like Enel Couture and Wildflowers. Um, I have the Kiara Sky lamp that they just came out with. I of course have the XVX light. I have the two Opry lights, like the mini one and the uh the x light i feel like i'm missing one maybe i'm not i think that's it i would love the extends um usb flashlight like they have a flash cure light it looks super fancy it doesn't look i don't know it doesn't look cheap like the other flashlight ones i've come across and um I would love to get that one. 
It's just, I don't need it, but I want it kind of thing. Cause I like how it has that charger thing there. I was just curious if I would forget to charge it, but I like that they have that. You guys, I also saw another soft gel nail system that um, a few people were talking about in the comments and I think someone mentioned it a couple months ago, but I never like took the name down, but today I saw it. It's called like, Kokoist or something. I'm probably saying it wrong, but I saw that company had a gel system, but it looks like it's only two things it comes with. Like it just comes with the bonding duo gel and then you buy your tips and they're pre refined So if you guys have tried that, let me know what you think or if you think I should include it in the lineup when I do the comparison video of all of the systems. Let me know. These look like so beautiful. I was going to do something to them, but now I don't know if I want to. They're so cute. Like seriously, this was the best thing ever. Because sometimes it's hard to find a perfect nude polish. You'll see these pictures of these nudes or it'll be like a nude acrylic you want, but you want to find, well, not that you want, you'll see a nail set done in acrylic, like all acrylic, but you just want the polish. And um, it's hard to find like a perfect one. And I feel like this is pretty darn perfect. Let's see if I can get this pinky on straight today. Oops, hold on. Watch it still be crooked, you guys. I appreciate the kind comments about the strawberry lemonade nails that I tried to encapsulate with the XVX system. Um, it makes me excited about trying out gel a little more. I think a lot of people were commenting on the Young Nails gel and like another gel that people were saying they like. So I'm excited to maybe order some gels soon and experiment with them. Okay, that looks a little bit more straight. Well, it's still sticking this way. <laughs> it looks too straight. I don't know. I give up. This is what it looks like, though, you guys. It's not beautiful. Like, it looks good just like this. I kind of want to jazz it up a little bit. I'm going to try something. I'll be right back. All right, you guys. So I have buffed my nails. Not buffed my nails. I wiped them with acetone. I'm not going to, like, go around and do the cuticle stuff and whatnot because I'm in a rush but I'll show you what I'm gonna do and I'm sure you've seen this before <laughs> the nude and neon yellow oops this is polish okay this is D&D &D, um, lemon juice 424 I was so mad because last year I had a really cool neon by OPI and um, I believe someone stole it. I hate to say that, but my nail stuff, like it all stays in my nail room. I always put my polishes back on the shelf or they're on my desk. And um, yeah, I had a client come by and I don't know. I just never saw it after they left. <laughs> and yeah, so in my head, I think they stole it, but I don't know. Never found it. So I'm taking a liner brush. Now, mind you, this is like my non-dominant hand, so don't don't judge me. Maybe I'll do it this way, you think? I'm just gonna create an outline. I've always loved this look and wanted to try it. But like I said, I couldn't find the perfect nude. I see a lot of people do it with the uh, Valentino nail system. And I have it. I have I have a couple of their collections of acrylic. Just haven't used it in a while. So. Hopefully you can see that. So I'm pretty much just going to go around 
the nail and create that. I wish that wasn't Cricut. Every time I try something nice, there's always just that one nail that won't let me be great. Ooh, this is so exciting. Like, I don't know. I'm so glad Opry did this collaboration. I hope it's always available on the site. How do you guys do your non-dominant hand? Dude, I feel retarded doing this. Like painting like this. I'm like holding it like this. Can you see that? There has to be another way. I mean, I guess I could go like that. I feel like I haven't did anything special to this hand in so long that I forgot how to use it, like paint with it. I used to be good kind of at painting with it. Well, you get the hint though. Get the point of what I'm doing. Like, that's so cool. I bet you people would still think this is acrylic when I go out. I mean, my clients now know that it's not, but whenever people would go to my booking site and they're like, what are gel extensions? And I'm like, they're, they're just as durable because a lot of them are afraid to cross over and dry it. But I feel like they're missing out. Especially because I consider myself more of an artist over anything. So I love the fact that I have more time to do art with these and start fresh. Oh, you guys, I was going to find out if the XVX system is refillable. I would like to think that it is, but I'm going to find out for you guys if I remember. I'm drafting up a bunch of questions to ask the company, so if you have anything that you want me to ask, let me know. I'll see what I can find out for you guys. I'm always reaching out to companies. I think I should add some Swarovskis to this. I don't have a lot of whole, a whole lot of uh, AB crystals. I think I have some neon yellow crystals though. I don't know if I'm gonna go over this a second time, just cause I'm in a rush. Oh, oops. I think I smeared this a little bit. All right, I'm gonna cure this real quick and I'll be right back. All right, this is the look. We're doing good on timing. I'm looking at my phone and it says 19 minutes. And that was like application and designing. And imagine if this was like my right hand, like me doing, well, my left hand with my right, it probably could have went by even faster. These would look really cute matte too for some reason. I think matte would look really pretty. I'm just going in with this gel top coat, XVX. Um, it works really good. I like it. I don't have a favorite right now. They're all kind of good. I really love the Opry one. I'm kind of running out. Although they did send me that package, so there's some in there. But I would love to get their big bottle. Or a couple bottles so I don't run out. Before this, my favorite top coat was 
OPI Axiom. I loved their top coat. And I like carried a bunch of their bottles here, but I've been running out. Yeah, I started running out and then slowly, after getting all these different gel systems, they would come with it, or poly gel kits. So now I haven't had to buy top coat in a while. I'm painting this way too thick, you guys. I grabbed my jewels. I think I am going to do just one stone on each nail. I'm not going to go too crazy. But yeah, matte will look really pretty with this look. Alright, I'm going to cure this. I'll be right back. Alright, so we got these glossy, beautiful nails. Now I'm just going to um, go in and grab these neon crystals. I'm using the Zule's Bling Adhesive. I'm just literally going to do one in the middle of each nail. Oop, that was like too much. I think I told you guys in the video before the like the last one that I usually um like to do my top coat and then add the crystals on because I noticed if the Zule's hasn't dried, like it appears to dry, but it's not dry, when I put my top coat on it kind of reacts and does something to my top coat. Like it makes it feel slimy and stuff. Sometimes I will buff this though, the shine from the nail before adding the stone, but other times I just kind of add them on and it's worked for me. I haven't had any come up missing. Yeah, this gives you a little more time to work with the crystals too because sometimes when you put Zule's down it sticks like right away but since it's a little glossy you can um, move it a little bit more before it cures or dries. I think I might actually do my other hand. Maybe not tonight but I don't know. I might meet somebody this week. Just to say hi or something or go on a walk. Or whatever. So I think this would be a cute little set. Alright. I kind of feel like I want to go in with those little colorful ones but maybe I'll leave it I don't know but that's pretty much the look um I'm gonna go in with some of this just to because if you do find out that they slide just spray it down with this they'll dry eventually but if you do have the spray it'll help hold it lock it in for you but yeah that's like a simple look isn't that cool I may or may not add stones we'll see well, thank you for watching. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy. I'll talk to you guys later.